Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret. going to be reading today from Luke chapter 17. I'm going to begin reading in verse 32. Father, sanctify us by your truth. Your word is truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Luke 17, verse 32, Jesus says, remember Lot's wife. Remember Lot's wife. She couldn't make up her mind whether she wanted to follow God or cling to the world. She started to follow God a little bit, and then she turned around, and she went in the direction of the world. That's where her heart was, and she was destroyed. She not only lost her life, she lost her soul. She wanted both, God and the world, but you can't. You must choose. Choose you this day who you're going to follow, God or the world, God or sin. It's up to you. 33. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it. Whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. If there is no willingness to turn from sin, if there is no willingness to turn from the old ways, and if there's no willingness to suffer rejection from the world for living for Christ, if need be, then a person cannot receive Christ as Lord and Savior and be saved. You're just kidding yourself. You have to have that attitude. If you seek to save your life, you will lose it. If you seek to save your old sinful life, you will lose your soul. If you turn to Christ and make him your Lord and Savior, and you give up that old sinful life in the process, you will save your soul. It's that simple. If you want to hang on to your own sinful life, you cannot receive eternal life through Jesus Christ. 34. I tell you, in that night, talking about the time when Jesus returns, in that night, there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other left. It will be a worldwide event. It'll be daytime for some, it'll be nighttime for others. But Jesus is coming like a thief in the night for those who are not expecting him. Two men shall be in the field, one shall be taken and the other left. Repeatedly, he says, one will be taken, the other one left. And the, the apostles want to know what he's talking about. And so it says in verse 37, And they answered and said unto him, Where, Lord? Where are they going to be taken? Some are going to be taken, some are going to be left. Where are the ones going that are going to be taken? Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, thither will the eagles be gathered together, taking, taken to judgment. The ones who will be taken away when Jesus returns will be taken away to judgment. The ones who remain are the ones who will enter into the millennial kingdom with Jesus Christ rule, ruling and reigning from Jerusalem over the entire world, entering into a wonderful time of peace and prosperity and goodness and holiness. The ones who are left will be taken into that kingdom, as it were. The ones who are taken away are taken away to judgment, the wrath of God thrown into hell. And that's why he says, where the body is, talking about the dead body, there will the eagles be gathered together as well. So the return of Jesus Christ is going to be sudden. And what it happens is going to be too late for those who didn't want him to change their mind. Jesus is saying there's going to be a swift and permanent separation between people who know know Christ and those who do not. Where will the judgment take place? Well, an eagle's eye can zoom in like a telescope and see an animal the size of a rabbit two miles away. And in the same way, God will find every single sinner who has refused to repent, no matter where they are on the earth, he will find them the day that Jesus returns. And he will kill them physically. He will punish them. And they will be sent to hell. And that judgment will take place. The answer to the question, where, Lord? That judgment of each and every individual who has rejected Christ will take place wherever they happen to be on the earth when Jesus Christ returns. God will seek them out. He will punish them. He will kill them physically. He will send their souls to hell. And the reference to the eagles being gathered speaks of birds of prey, carnivorous birds that chew on dead bodies. And they'll have a feast on that day when Jesus returns and destroy all those 
who have rejected Christ. So be ready. Receive Christ as your Lord and Savior right now. Don't be taken away into judgment. If Jesus returns today, don't be taken away into judgment, but rather be ready to enter into the glorious kingdom of the Lord Jesus Christ. The choice is yours.